Live Ranch Productions 2017 Winter Wheat. We're tuning it up. Crop prices are low this year. It's time to pull them on out and do an insurance claim, folks. We're showing you how to do this. Right here with a 1993 B1550 with a homemade dragger on the back, folks. There we go. There we go. They're doing it. That, yeah, it's a cover crop cover. We know it. It's going to be insurance claim this year. It was thick this year, folks. If you watched our YouTube video of the 2016 when we installed this, that's 50 pounds here, folks. This is an eighth of an acre. Use 50 pounds of good quality Hensel seed. Showing how to do these crossroads here like this. The insurance is just supposed to be coming out this afternoon here. Late evening, you didn't come out and eat dinner with us out here at the Ranch Productions. So we decided we'd go ahead and get this all pulled out tonight. It's pretty good. Hopefully, we get a little regrowth on there and make it look like it's. You know, something will happen. Yep. Stay tuned, folks. We do have other properties on the premises that we will be tilling up crop. We tend to do this from time to time. We're thinking about putting pumpkins in. Maybe a little pumpkin orchard. Or we may put some sweet corn in, popcorn. You know, some of viewers of choice, go ahead and uh, subscribe to us, Ranch Productions. See what, uh, what you guys suggest us putting in. We were thinking about putting tomato plants in. We're thinking we'll get about two to 300 tomato plants in here. We'll put them on six inch rows. 1550, we had to put, add the extra weight up front. She's doing good. It's a fuel sipper rig right there, folks. We run 16 hours on a tank of fuel. Less than 7.5 gallons of fuel. Got some raspberry bushes right there. We got five acre plot back there. We ain't got nothing in there. We've been doing no-till. This year we're gonna do a till. We found out that the no-till program is not working very well for us out here in these soils. Say, so, look at it really. Look at that unit. She's tilling good. Look at them fingers just coming through a hair. I mean it's just it's called the Afro comb out here. It's a farm comb. It's just pulling up that soil really well. We got about 50 pounds of manure we're gonna throw on here too. Throw a little little of everything out here on this. This is our test plot right here folks. We've been testing a lot of stuff out here. We've had stuff that works, stuff that hasn't worked. It's been a flip flop. I'll probably get a claim, probably get about 275 bucks for this crop. With about three to four bales out of this we would have got this year. We're not gonna get that this year. Oh, we got got in the got in our main field a little bit. Yeah, gotta watch that out. This is a bi-term full drive unit, folks. We plan on doing front seals on it there. They're in bad shape right now. But we will get them repaired once the crop prices go up. Till then. We will not be fixing anything out here at the ranch this year. As of the last 15 years, we have not fixed anything due to the crop prices, as you know. We got a dairy barn with no dairy cows in there. The reason why is because the crop prices are down. The cost of feeding them damn dairy cows are pricey. And our milk order went down. Our milkman said, our floors are in bad condition and they're going to grade us down to a C minus milk, folks. And what you know on C minus milk, let me tell you, your milk you're buying right now in the store is grade A. We had grade A. Now we have grade negative C. So until then, we pulled the dairies out, sumped the local nearest auction that we could find that would take them because they were malnourished. And that does happen. But. We had a lot of three titters, and our machines are four titters, so we had to have that third tit lay in the shit. And we had some infectious diseases come in on the other tits. And if you're in the dairy farming, you know that is not good. And we did have our, we had a resident sheepdog <laughs> was nibbling on the nipples. So we had to stitcher him up a little bit. Brought in a local veterinarian that stitches up cats and dogs 
and she took a really good care of us. She did it for free. We gave her a free couple free cats. It's nothing big deal. Look at that. It is coming in there good. That is looking good, folks. What we got down here, let me talk to you about this. Our next project, and we will get this on film. We have 1.5 miles of waterway going through the premises out here at Ranch. <coughs> and we will have to be burning it off, burning diesel fuel on it, throwing used motor oil, hydraulic fluid, anti-freeze, or stuff. But we got to clean this out right here. The EPA has been testing the water, and we've had a lot of seepages coming from the machine shed and the dairy barn waste has been going into the creek. Our pipe's been broke roughly 42 years. And we're right down there is where we got the pipe broke down there. The tank, we had the tank down there back in the day. Paul put the tank down there. So we're going to have to relocate that tank. We don't know yet where we're going to relocate the tank. But somewhere out here on the property we will be putting a new tank. We thought about putting it next to the strawberries raspberry patches or the ochre patch somewhere around here that's our new tender trailer borrowed last year from Hensel C we did not return it we bought it from and from time to time we use it for other stuff all right folks well that's just another little kicker here stand by for more on 2017 filming it's going to be better out here this year I can promise you that out ranch productions 2017 thank you